A few weeks ago, we talked about the supply chain. This is a very simple representation of a typical supply chain. Suppliers provide goods and services to some sort of a producer, and that producer, in turn, maybe, you know, maybe that's a, a manufacturing company, maybe it's a another service company, but they take those uh, goods and services and they assemble, modify, and they change them in some way, and then they turn around and deliver them on to the customer and, and pass it up the supply chain and um, until it finally gets to the end customer or consumer sometimes as well. Well, this week we're talking about supply chain management. Now, most of the time when we think about supply chain management, we think only of the quality and the logistics of receiving parts or services from our suppliers and then the impact of that delivered item that we've modified and whatnot and what it means to our customer. So while that is part of the supply chain management, uh, please also remember that the notion of supply chain management uh, involves adding value along the way, more than just processing the products and moving them along. Gupta and Starr said it this way in their text, the, the supplier, producer, customer value chain, by definition, adds value at every single step. And it illustrates the, the uh, strategic impact um, on a global scale. So think about adding value as you go. Typically, value is defined as the price at which a customer is willing to pay for goods or services. Now, there can be other definitions for sure. That's a very basic definition. And sometimes, value can be bolstered or increased when the supply chain adds other services or features. And sometimes an organization can charge for those other services or features that add values, uh, adds, adds value, and sometimes it cannot. Good after the sales support, for example, and follow up is a great way to increase value, but you may not be able to charge directly for it. But you know what? People will remember you and they'll come back to you the next time. And perhaps a personal story will drive this home even more. My son and I recently shingled our home. Two days later on a Monday morning, I noticed I had something in my eye. It was really hurting. So I decided to go to one of those MedStation Express Care businesses because I didn't have a lot of time and I knew my doctor's office was going to be full. And frankly, I was a bit skeptical because I had heard horror stories of these kinds of um, med stations, express care places being processed. Well, to my surprise, it was a great experience. The nurses and the doctors took their time and they talked with me as they checked me in and they helped me with my eye problem. Uh, they were really gentle and caring. I did not feel processed at all. Even more, I received an email two days later from the doctor following up with me. Now listen, I've gone to my doctor, my personal doctor, for years, never gotten an email following up with me. These people who didn't even know me, two days later they sent me a, an email following up to see how I was doing. Wow, that was added value that I did not expect. And I don't think my bill was more because of the email follow up or all the extra care, but you know what, I probably would have paid more because they demonstrated that they cared for me. A few months later, I had a severe cold. Guess where I went to be cared for. And listen, here's another example that I recently came across. We've all had questionable experiences in buying cars from dealerships. There's always a bit of a trust issue, isn't there? Well, check out this advertisement. See if you can identify all of the value add components that this car company's dealers add into the supply chain. This is Cole. Like a lot of people, Cole isn't a big fan of all the time and effort it takes to shop for a car. The driving from dealer to dealer, the negotiation, all those test drives, ugh. That's why he's very happy that Hyundai is introducing Shopper Assurance. Cole just chooses his car and enters a time and place to test drive, and the car just shows up. Cole thinks this is a much better way to shop. Hey. And he wonders why most other car companies don't do this. Yeah, why don't other car companies do this? In fact, we're doing all sorts of things that make buying a car easier for people like Cole. Since Cole doesn't like spending his time at a dealership, and thinks shopping for a car isn't much fun at all, he'll love the transparent pricing. He can calculate his monthly payment, find out the value of his trade-in, and even check his credit from the comfort of his own home. And when Cole does make it down to the dealership, he'll be in a better mood, since all the hard work is already done and he's just there to pick up his new car. Who knows, he might even end up hugging the car dealer. 
And should Cole have a change of heart, no problem. He can just return his car thanks to our three-day money-back guarantee. Cole thinks all of these things are better. It's all part of something that we're calling Hyundai Shopper Assurance. It's making the car buying experience better for, well, everyone. Did you see the extra value added in that made the experience better? An app to choose the car. Set up an appointment online to drive it. The car is brought to you for a test drive. That's amazing. And the three-day return guarantee? That doesn't happen. That's really cool. Uh, that's really nice. Okay, so when you think about supply chain management, it's more than just products showing up on time and the right amount of, quali of great quality. That's the minimum anymore. In your business, remember who your customer is and consider what features or services that you can add to the supply chain to enhance their experience.